Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, this past Sunday was a drift event up at uh, IMI. Um, that's the go-kart track up north of Denver. And I ended up getting third place, so that's pretty cool. But I don't have any footage of it. But uh, if you want to see some footage, you can check out uh, Jesse's channel. He has a little bit of, um, of the track layout and some GoPro footage. Um, just to give you a feel of how it went. But uh, this video mainly is a, uh, a review on that Collins Adapters uh, CD009 to Jay-Z transmission kit. So overall the kit uh, fit decently well. My only complaint is uh, it would have been nice if the price was a little bit lower but uh, I don't know if you if you do your research you can probably find a different manufacturer to uh, get the same results for a little bit cheaper price. But uh, anyways the transmission and engine went together fairly well. The the uh, the dual plate clutch fit together pretty well. Um, I have the GK Tech short shifter, and this is how far back it sits in the tunnel. So the stock hole is like right here, and the GK Tech short shifter fits all the way back to this like past this reinforcement line. I welded in a bit bit of reinforcement here just to make sure the uh, the tunnel stayed kind of rigid. Uh, but anyways, the shifter is is pretty good. I only use one through four in reverse. Fifth gear is kind of uh, kind of touchy, but I think I need to adjust this plate a little bit. So not really a fault on GK Tech. Uh, my transmission itself is kind of messed up. Fifth gear grinds like crazy, and fourth and third gear have like a howl to it and then when the transmission gets really hot um, first, second, third, fourth, they all kind of sound like a dog box kind of like that straight cut gear sound but uh, I don't know, it works, the ratios are good so I'm cool with it for now um, the only thing, so in my, in my overview of the kit I had pretty much everything I needed with the exception of a uh, M10 by one female both end length of hose so the issue I had was my clutch slave cylinder let me see if I can show you well my clutch slave cylinder line had a male piece so right there so that's from my clutch master cylinder so you can see that that red hose has a male piece and the uh, Z speed masters or the Z speed slave cylinder had a male fitting as well, so I needed a double female M10 by one clutch line. And what I used is a uh, Miata clutch line. I, I forget if it was an NA or NB Miata clutch line, but uh, this was like I think like 30 40 bucks, I think. But it's screwed into both ends, it's holding tight and uh, it's all working pretty good. So I have to say this transmission actually works really really well. I drifted on it the whole day and I also ran on this transmission in Albuquerque. I think earlier in April, I'm not sure the date, but earlier in April I went down to Albuquerque for a drift event, uh, shredded out there all day and no issues to speak of. So actually there was a little bit of issue in Albuquerque. The engine mount bolts because um, I got the Collins adapter, the whole kit with engine mounts and everything, which are actually rebranded excessive mounts. But uh, they have these really long um, engine mount bolts that uh, backed out a little bit. Fortunately, the nut didn't fall off, but it backed out a little bit and the engine was kind of rocking in the engine bay. But uh, I tightened it down and it seems so good so far. But uh, other than that, the uh, the kit has, uh, has been pretty good. The, um, you know, the... <laughs> The reliability of it's pretty, pretty, pretty impressive. I got to uh, shred a whole stack of tires. Let me show you right here. So that one and that one were a pair. They were like halfway worn at the start of the day. This one was a mile star, and uh, where's its partner? I think. I think this one's partner is somewhere else, but uh, Nankang NS20, they're okay tires. The other Nankang, it chunked. And the tire I like the most now are these Milestars in an 18. 
they just wore down to the cords and had good grip all the way down. Oh, and I also burned up these these uh, Federals. The other side's pretty much bald. But yeah, this uh, this transmission that gear ratio just shredded tires on the uh, the IMI go kart track. No problem. Pretty impressive. Tons of smoke. So can't really complain. So there's the engine mount down there, right there, and you can kind of sort of see that black bolt head on there and there's a nut on the other side under that subframe but that side and this side uh, you can't see it very well they, they loosened up a little bit so the engine was uh, was rocking back and forth but I tightened them up before this IMI event and uh, so far so good it's holding up pretty well uh, the kit did kind of move my engine a little bit uh, from from my old setup, I think it sits a little bit higher, and maybe the maybe it's like more of a lean like that way. I don't know, but I had to uh, to trim a little little hole in the hood so that this would clear, and you can see it's still kind of beating the crap out of it. But yeah, my my drift car is in a show car, function over over form is my motto with this car. So there you go, that's a bit of an overview, a, a bit of a stress test review on this uh, Collins CD to Jay-Z transmission adapter kit. Um, like I said, I've only had two events on this, so I don't know the longevity of it, only time will tell that. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about this kit, leave them down below and I'll try my best to answer them. Uh, my two big complaints about this is uh, one the price uh, I know there are cheaper options out there to do the the same thing and uh, two it took like a month and a half to to get to me for fortunately I didn't miss any events but um, you know had I entered or had I placed the order a little bit later things could have turned out a little bit differently so um, keep that in mind when you're placing your order if you do um, otherwise, go ahead and uh, do your research and look into other adapter kit manufacturers. I, I've heard there are several of them, at least two or three others. Um, I just went with this because Jesse and Trevor both have this same kit and they seem to like it quite a bit. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this, uh, this gave you a bit of a real world uh, review on this kit. Uh, sub to the channel, got some more stuff coming, and thanks for watching.